Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to do your cryptocurrency taxes on Bittrex with the help of Coinly. So this is a highly sought, highly requested wallet. Um, the breakdown of this video is pretty straightforward. It's gonna be a little bit of information about the wallet and then we're gonna jump into integrations and then lastly, how to download the necessary tax documentation. So let's jump into it. Okay, to start off, um, this wallet was founded in Liechtenstein in 2014. It is frequently in the top 20 by trading volume um, wallets. Its biggest presence is in the US where it's currently headquartered. Uh, so if anyone's interested, I'll actually link this guide, um, the US crypto tax guide for 2021 um, for any Americans out there that want help with their crypto taxes. And another fun fact about this um, wallet is that it actually allows users to exchange stocks while being on the, um, you know, while also being a crypto exchange. And interestingly enough, the stocks are available um, in a form of what they call um, tokens. So if anyone is doing both stocks and crypto trades, let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of curious how these, um, you know, stock tokens work. So that's, that's a very unique aspect to this wallet. Okay, now for the integration part of this video, we're gonna go into wallets, uh, obviously log into Coinly first. We're gonna go into the wallet section of Coinly. We're gonna type in Bittrex. Um, there it is, it's actually the first one that shows up. And we have two different options. Um, we have the auto sync method and we have the import from file method. So I'll start off um, nice and easy with the auto sync. So click on auto sync and then it's going to ask us for an API key and an API secret. A few things to note here, many trades and deposits before uh, 27 to 2019 are not returned by Bittrex API. If your account is old, you may want to upload your transaction history using CSV files instead. So I'll show you how to do that after for anyone that has a, a you know a relatively old account, I guess, in the crypto space. Um, trades for delisted pairs are not returned by the API. Okay, we're gonna head over to Bittrex um, in the top right corner. We're gonna go into account, assuming that you've logged in. And then on the left side here, you have API keys. You will have to enable two-factor authentication in order to get an API key. And then here, kind of small font, uh, add new key. And we're only interested in read info. Coinly is not interested in touching any of your funds. Um, it needs the information to be able to help you calculate your taxes. So authenticator code, I'll type that in. And there you have it. That is the key. Uh, we're gonna go back into Coinly, paste it here. And then that is the secret and voila, you have it nice and easy. This is probably, I would say 90% of people are gonna use this um, use this route. I have a few different transactions that I'm currently working with, mostly with Tether um, or USD uh, T and XPR. So looking at what this yellow dot is, I believe this is unrelated to anything I have. This is probably on their end. Some of, let's see, actually, let's see what it says. So BTX CRD balance does not match what you actually have on the wallet, click here for more info. And it shows a difference of BTX credit 1500. So I think this is an error on their end. You definitely won't have this uh, when you do yours. If if this, you know, persists for another day, I think I'll give them a, a you know, a message, but um, you should have no errors here in your transactions and the currencies that you're working with should show up just fine. But if for some reason you do, we're gonna go into the next step and show you actually how to get the necessary CSV file. So going back into Coinly, add wallet again. Oh, actually it's right there. It's the first row import um, from file is the option we want on the Bittrex wallet. And then we're gonna go into their website and find it there. Alrighty, going back to their website, this time we're gonna go into the order section. And um, as you can see, I have some orders going and already done. Um, I'm looking to do some more after this and buy some more BTC. Uh, but very simple, straightforward order orders. I imported some XRP uh, and then I traded it and swapped it back and forth um, between some USDT, but very straightforward here. Download history button, um, select the year that you're working with. You might have you know multiple years that you need to download this file for. Click, um, I'm not a robot and download that file and it'll show up um, as you can see on my screen. Actually, you can't, but I'll show you just in a moment um, what it looks like. So I've opened the Excel file, pretty straightforward. Um, you know, you have your exchange, your timestamps, your order type, your limit, quantity, price, all that juicy information there. So going back into Coinly, we're gonna take that file and drag and drop it. And then we're gonna click import 
and it should take only a few seconds because there wasn't many transactions and we're going to go back to view full history and there you have those two transactions this time with no error um the other error really didn't make any sense for for my account so that could have just been been an error on on their end okay now for the best part of this video how quickly and easily you can get your tax reports so going into the tax re tax report section um you'll, you'll get a summary of the amount of transactions you have um i think i have a bunch for 2020 as you can see here um you can select which year you're working with obviously um you know your capital gains your income your costs and expenses and then at the very bottom is where you will select a plan and download the necessary tax documentation. So since this video is, you know, I would say a good amount of it is going to be for the American audience. Um, for you guys, you have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax both online and desktop versions. For the UK, we have the HMRC Capital Gain Summary. We have reports for Norway, Sweden, France, um, Switzerland. And then lastly, we have the complete tax reports for Australia, Canada, Germany, or if you'd like, you can download this kind of report and send it to your accountant. And we're also working on, you know, getting accountants um, into the Coinly platform. And, you know, we want you guys to be able to set up your accountancy firm here. Stay tuned for more content around that. And lastly, depending on where you're from, there might be some tax exemptions for downloading or paying for this plan because at the end of the day, it is a software that does help you with your taxes. So it might be, you might be able to write it off. Obviously look into that, you know, in, in your country, wherever you're filing your taxes. But that is the end of this video. I will always leave um, these three links in the description. One of them is the Coinly Help Center where we have countless articles um, covering, you know, every single topic you can think of in regards to crypto and crypto taxes we also have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as um you know you know our staff and then lastly if you really need more assistance more hands-on assistance you can send us a message or email us and like i said links will be down below but if you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful in any way consider dropping a like subscribing for more crypto content and i'll see you next time peace